There must be an answer here science officer. Computer. Identify anomalous cases from Earth's history of fires starting. In 1859 a solar event caused electrical currents to be induced in telegraph wires and electrical devices, causing shocks, fire and damage. Computer, define the term telegraph. A telegraph system used an electrical current to transmit a code from place to place. Any more examples of anomalous fires from Earth's history? Affirmative. January 2004, Canato, Italy fires broke out in many places, even setting fire to a water pipe. The Italian government closed the investigation, declaring that the fires had been intentionally started. The phenomenon of spontaneous human combustion has cost the lives of some people in history. The victim suddenly catches fire and the fires are impossible to extinguish. Computer, of these examples, which most closely resembles the unexplained fires on planet Ross 128. The fires in Canato, Italy most closely resemble those on Ross 128. There is insufficient solar activity to cause a Carrington-type event. No person on Ross 128 has caught fire spontaneously to date. That does not especially give me any comfort. I suspect that this is technology related. Let's see what we can find out. I want a full report on technology currently used on this planet, no matter how simple. Captain, I suggest a forensic examination of some of the primitive devices. Also, there was an unusual crystal artifact in the governor's home. I did not get time to investigate it. What about that governor? What type of crystal is it? They are a bluish crystal that is fairly common on the surface of this planet. I will put out an announcement. Feel free to use your transporters. I think we are closing in on Hephaestus artifact. Once we have it, we can order the god it controls. Do you really believe that? Legends of an ancient fire god. Sacrilege. Would you like to be the first sacrifice to appease our god? How long do we let this go on? This lunatic actually believes it. He may be dangerous. I am just after the money. This artifact will leave us set pretty well. So what about you, our human sacrifice? I am with you too. All I care about is the money. We have to keep up the fires and fear, to keep the colonists from too soon finding our dig. Once we have the artifact, we will skip out. I say leave the bum behind. All agreed? Yes, there is just one thing. What is the status of the satellite? It will soon be in position again. We can start a fresh round of fires. We scared the governor sufficiently, so they are using transporters again. Our contact from her office has confirmed that. They won't be flying around as much and won't be as likely to spot our dig here. Good. I want one of them set on fire. We already burned one by accident. Do we have one that we can burn intentionally? They have some old style communications devices. I can activate one. Excellent. Let's hope this adds to their fear. Yes I know. The fires are getting really intense. Hey I gotta go. Talk to you later. Hugs.
What have you found, science officer? Anything. It appears that the fires are being started by these old style devices that are being used. The doctor has some information on that. Captain, this woman had some type of old style communications device on her. We found a fire spread from her device that was near her hip and spread rapidly due to some highly flammable clothing. Okay, what does communications have to say? I have been picking up radio transmissions, and they seem to be going back and forth from space. The signals seem to occur on a regular basis. I have found a pattern. Apparently it is from an orbiting satellite, but I don't believe it is orbiting the planet, but rather the sun. If the intervals are regular, we should be able to track it down. Let's go. We have it. A small craft in a different orbital plane from the planet. Close to weapons range. Scan for signals. Arm photon torpedoes, and wait for my order. There is a three-way signal. Up from the surface, then back down to a location in Colony B. We can narrow it down to about a five-mile radius in each case. Can we get it any closer if we leave that thing? I don't believe so. We only can get approximate locations. Lock photon torpedoes on target. Fire when ready. We have lost communications with the satellite. It may have been destroyed by the starship. It is of no consequence. Here is the artifact. A round sphere with horns is what they saw. Demon, I command you, appear. So you are the mortal fool who has summoned me. Prepare to meet judgment. Master I did it all for you. There are plenty here to burn. You have a life again. You fool. I was in an eternity of rest, and you have disturbed it. You will pay. Captain, I am reading an unusual energy signature on the surface. It is large and very hot. Moving toward Alpha Colony. Beam down a landing party. Full equipment.
it's no good. Lexington beam us out. Captain, it is a very high power projection, not a form of life at all. I believe a source can be destroyed. It has been pinpointed. I recommend a photon torpedo strike. It is safely away from the colonies. Give the coordinates to fire control. Fire the torpedo as soon as you can. It was a complicated plot. We have not found the conspirators, but it looks like they were using the ancient devices to start fires. We found a remotely controlled incendiary device in them. The same people were also selling them to the colonists. They used a small satellite on a different orbital plane as a relay to hide their activities. Excuse me Captain. Governor. We have three people, a man, and two women in custody. They have said that their leader wanted more than the artifact. He wanted to control the monster, and they fled when they saw it. The torpedo strike persuaded them to turn themselves in. Well Governor, it's the oldest tale in the book. A would-be megalomaniac who ultimately was self-defeated. Thank you Captain. Hey, it may be a bit forward of me, but I would like some company tonight. The Nebula girls are playing. Do you have time to come? I would be delighted, Governor. Pick you up at 8? That will be fine. Just call me Nancy. We might even start a fire tonight. <laughs> 